Lovely Mad Dog Oven telephoned the Evansville, Indiana, Henderson, Kentucky communities in the 1950s. It all began on December 2nd, 1954, when the body of Mary Harlan was found at the Bellmead liquor store stuffed behind the toilet. She was the owner and she had been killed execution style. Three dimes were found at the scene. The next victim, Wesley Cole, was found on December 23rd, 1954, in the bathroom of a standard oil station on the corner of US 41 and East Franklin Street. He was killed in the same manner, and again, three dimes were found placed near his body. I had traveled to Evansville to research this killer and found that most of the sites were no longer in existence or had changed so much as to be unverifiable. The following picture was a photograph of the corner of US 41 and Franklin. The area looked different than it would have looked back in the day. Franklin is now a dead end street cut off by a built up US 41. But it's possible that the road connected to the US highway and that the building in the picture was the standard oil station. The third victim was Wilhelmina Sailor, a housewife living in Mount Vernon, Indiana. She was killed in her kitchen in the same manner it was March 24, 1955. The final victims were killed on March 28, 1955. Global Duncan and Raymond Duncan and Mabel Elizabeth Duncan were all shot on a Duncan farm in Henderson, Kentucky. They were all killed in the same manner as the previous victim. Govell and Raymond were found along the country road nearby. Mammy Duncan, Govell's wife, was also shot but survived. She was made permanently blind by the attack. Elizabeth, the two-year-old daughter of Mabel Duncan, was unharmed. The killer, Leslie Elvin, was born on April 2nd, 1924, in Evansville, Indiana. He seemed to live there his whole life and was well-liked by the community, despite the fact he had a criminal record, even have gone AWOL from the Army. It was a shock to them when the killer that was terrifying the area turned out to be Leslie. He was captured when a group of boys spotted his vehicle at the Duncan murder site and turned it into the police. The car matched the car seen at previous murder scenes. The show became a media circus with the newspaper were there every day. One of the writers labeled Urban as a mad dog when he saw the accused being led into court by a dog chain around his neck. In the midst of this circus, Urban escaped from the Gibson County Jail by making a set of fake keys. He was recaptured in San Francisco after a couple of weeks while trying to pawn stolen item. During his trial, there was a great concern whether he would receive fair trial because of all the media attention. His defense attorneys tried to get the venue changed and succeeded the first time but failed in further attempt. He was found guilty and sentenced to death. His attorneys appealed all the way to the Supreme Court because the state of Indiana had a law that a change of venue could only happen once. The argument was that a person's fair trial should not be dictated by state law preventing them. The Supreme Court overturned his conviction to set precedent for a future criminal trial in regards to media coverage and prejudice toward defendant. Ivan was retired and found guilty on June 13, 1962 and sentenced to life in prison. He died in prison on November 9, 1983 of lung cancer.